Hi students, here are the secrets for passing math, the long-awaited video. This is not your typical video. I want you guys to know that these strategies are timeless that have been noticed by any teacher out there who's been teaching for a number of years. Time. Studying in small chunks can actually maximize your brain potential. Doing long periods in excess of six hours quickly tires your brain. Think about it. If you're doing an activity, your body starts to become physically tired and your productivity decreases. It's the same with your our brain. And studying with a tired brain, especially at night, is not a good idea unless you've been well rested during the course of the day. Also, you should set your study time to be between half an hour and two hours. Uh, a lot of our literature out there shows that uh, this is the period in which the brain absorbs the most information and uh, after about two hours is when your brain tends to become fatigued. Another important secret to, to passing any subject, especially maths, is practice, practice, practice. Now, when you're doing this practice, you have to be very uh, routine. You must make sure that uh, you dedicate a specific time period, such as half an hour till two hours. During this time, studies show that this is when the brain is able to actively process information without becoming too fatigued and you don't overwhelm yourself, you don't become stressed out. Um, also, practicing allows you to fine-tune your skills at completing a question. You may notice that uh, when you attempt a question the first time, it takes perhaps sometimes a half an hour to be able to get it done. And by about the fifth time of seeing that very same question, you can perhaps complete it in five minutes or less. And another secret, create a timetable, people. Okay, guys, check this. Suppose we have six months to do six subjects. That's one month per subject. On average, that's four weeks. If your subject has 10 core topics, that gives us one week to do 2.5 chapters. That's not enough time. When are we gonna get time for repetitive practice? The next slide is gonna answer your question. Let's observe this timetable here. So we have one day during the week left out for rest because our body needs it. We have one day, Sunday, during which we have a multitude of activities because you are free during the day. There's no school then, so you can maximize your study time. You can do multiple things like chores and labs. Then during the course of the week when you are at school and you have no choice but to revise and study on the late evenings, try to get rest when you reach home, perhaps at four, you can start sometimes at five, it depends, but make sure before you start studying, your brain is well rested and do not exceed a period of more than two hours unless it's absolutely necessary. Finally, make sure you alternate the subjects you're revising such that you can choose to study math on Monday, physics on Tuesday, biology on Thursday, etc. Try your best to avoid any form of social media during studying as it can tend to interfere with your ability to focus. Sharing your knowledge and helping others is perhaps one of the easiest ways to passing any subject. When you sit around a table and you have discussions with your friends, you'll realize that every person has something to add to that table. Perhaps somebody may have a point that you didn't know, Perhaps one person may have perfected a certain method that you are keen on learning yourself. And perhaps you can share something that you learned yourself. That way everybody benefits and you can work together in unity. Find happiness in what you do. A healthy brain is a happy brain and a happy brain works best.